السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم We are going to talk a little bit about Zamzam, a blessed water. Zamzam is a blessed water, a holy water. We respect it a lot. It's in all of our homes. Subhanallah. It's an amazing water spring with amazing benefits. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah ladheem. We know how Zamzam happened to emerge. It's when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Ibrahim alayhi salam to leave Hajira alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam in Mecca, a barren land where there was no water supply, nothing except the mountains and heat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sent Jibreel alayhi salam who struck the earth with his wing when Hajira alayhi salam was in search of water and was searching to find help for water from Safa to Marwa, Marwa to Safa, praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jibreel alayhi salam, he struck the earth with his wing and there sprang forth the Zamzam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided Zamzam to Ismail alayhi salam and Hajira alayhi salam. Subhanallah, a blessed water, it's for all of us. And we are cherishing and using it for many benefits, subhanAllah. Our Prophet, Prophet Muhammad wasallam, said, The best water on the face of the earth is water of Zamzam. It is a kind of food and healing from sickness. Zamzam is a miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Jurham tribe saw the water, they asked Hajira alayhi salam permission to live there. And Alhamdulillah, slowly Mecca became populated because of the water presence. And with time, the inhabitants of Mecca, they started to forget the ways of the pious ones, the ways of the Salihin, the ways of Ismail a.s., Ibrahim a.s. And Jurham, who were the core of Meccan population, they were driven out of Mecca when they became unjust and tyrannical. But Jurham tribe, they were fully aware of the importance of Zamzam. And they did not want their conquerors to have this blessing. So they covered it with sand, made it hidden before they left. And now no one could make out where Zamzam was present as they closed up the well before they left. And slowly, slowly people, they tried hard and could not detect the water body. They left the hope and it was forgotten. And a long time passed with so many generations passing in Mecca, completely unaware about the Zamzam. Until Abdul Muttalib, the paternal grandfather of Prophet Muhammad wasallam, he resurrected the dead well with the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Abdul Muttalib himself was unaware of the Zamzam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he chose our Prophet's grandfather to resurrect the Zamzam well again. And it so happened that for three consecutive nights, Abdul Muttalib had a very clear vision about digging a well. And during each vision, the name of the well was different and no location was mentioned. But on the fourth night, Zamzam and its location were communicated to Abdul Muttalib so clearly that he attended to the appointed task on the morning of the very fourth night and he found out the Zamzam. Since then, Abdul Muttalib, he provided Zamzam water to the pilgrims. So before the birth of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored Mecca again with Zamzam's emergence. And scientists they are researching on this water repeatedly and a scientist named Dr. Masaru Emoto said this after his experiment. The quality, the purity which Zamzam has, it will not be found anywhere else in any water on this earth. It seems he used the technology named Nano and researched a lot on Zamzam water and he found out that if one drop of Zamzam water is mixed in thousand drops of regular water, even the regular water will get the same quality like Zamzam water, subhanAllah. Isn't it amazing? He also found that a mineral in one drop of Zamzam water 
has its own importance that it will not be found on any other water on this earth. Even he recycled the Zamzam water, but no change. It was still pure. This scientist also found out that the Muslims, they say Bismillah before eating and drinking. He says that after saying Bismillah on the regular water, there are some strange changes happen in the quality of regular water that makes it the best water. Subhanallah al-Adheem. He also found out that if someone recites the Quran on regular water, it gets the ability for treating so many diseases. Subhanallah. Surely this is a miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whenever we happen to drink Zamzam, we are said to stand, face the direction of Qibla and make a dua and then drink Zamzam water. This water is very special and Alhamdulillah it is a shifa for so many ailments. This water in its emergence is special in both the times. At the time of Ismail alayhi salam and at the time of Abdul Muttalib. It's special in both the times. And this water is full of benefits. And it is the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See how great is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He has granted us innumerable blessings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us always and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us always. May we realize his blessings and turn to him with full obedience. Glory be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah al-adheem. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.